So first, I'd like to introduce what is Tibu42. And we are a nonprofit organization started in Japan in 2007, came to the US in 2010, and trying to tackle global food imbalance. So in this world, there's 7 billion people and about 1 billion people don't have enough food. On the other hand, about 2 billion people have some health issues by eating too much unhealthy food. So if you eat that many pancakes for each meal, sounds exciting, but maybe not good for you. So for this side, we're trying to promote healthy eating, providing food education. This side, we provide healthy school meals to children in need. So to promote healthy eating, we have this program called Wa Shokuiku. This combines two Japanese words. You might know the meaning, but the first one is called Wa Shoku, means Japanese food. And second called Shokuiku, that means food education. So we combine these two words and we teach kids to adults all about food, nutrition to food environment. And students learn each topic and then cook and enjoy eating. So sometimes they make like bento, healthy bento, sushi, healthy ramen to sweet. So now we've been providing this online and hope to start in person maybe this fall. And so Edamami Champ is our spring campaign to promote healthy eating, focusing on soy. And there are two ways to participate in this event. First is to join virtual events like today. And second one is to join the social media photo uh, challenge. So virtual events consist of presentation about soy, one chop chopsticks competition and cooking. And so actually our partner organization donate based on the number of participants and number of photos posted so you are actually helping today by particip participating in this event. And thank you so much. And for this photo challenge, it's fun. This is soy Jan's cute mascot. And you find any food using soy and take a photo and post on your own social media with hashtag edamamechan. So each photo can help to bring our food education program to one child. Hope you can make miso ramen today and participate in this uh, photo challenge. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk about soy. So soy, soybeans are the key ingredients for Japanese food. So these green ones, you might know. This one, for edamame, but they are soybeans. But edamame is Japanese, but becoming English. So this dry, beans. <laughs> Round one, it's also soybeans, but it's called daizu in Japanese. So the difference is these are the baby soybeans, like two months old. And this is like four months, like adult soybeans. And edamame is very healthy snack, easy, just as it uh, tasty as it is. I have a lot of protein, fiber, and great with beer. And we had a recipe contest last year. Here are some of the winners and you can put on potato salad, adding color, nutrition, could be deep fried or could be used as sweet or you can make a dip. And this is Deborah's favorite easy recipe called spicy edamame. Let's see how quickly we make this. <laughs> Yes, it can be ready in five seconds. So you just need edamame, garlic, ginger, scallion, sesame oil, and then just stir fry, and then add little um, like ichimi or pepper. So soybeans are grown in these large fields. And I would, like, I would like to ask, who is the largest producer of soybean in the world? Which country produce? soybeans most. If you know the answer you or you have a guess, you can write in the chat box. US. 
let's see, who else? Any other guesses? China, US. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Hmm. So number one is Brazil. Number one, number two is USA. USA used to be number one, but still produce a lot. So many states produce soybeans here in the US and including, I think Minnesota produce a lot of soybeans. And a lot of them, like about 60% are exported to other countries, including Japan, like China, and then some stay here in the US uh, for vegetable oils, sometimes food for animals. So I know like many Japanese food companies come to the US to find the best soybeans and then make Japanese food. So US and Japan kind of helping each other. And soy is used in so many ways. So baby edamame turn into this daizu and can turn into so many foods. So if you know any food using soy, maybe you can in, uh, write in the chat box. It's miso bean, miso natto. Oh yes, coming. Great. So let's see. Um, soybean oil and soy milk. And soy sauce and soy miso soy uh, miso paste and tofu. And something oh. even like natto, it's very sticky, challenging food, but has a lot of nutrition. And that turned into so many dishes and soy is just used in so many ways. And also soy is called meat of the field because it just had a lot of protein. Okay, so that's the quick overview of soy. Um, any questions so far? Okay, not like we can move on to the second part, which is fun chopstick competition. Okay. Let me show a video to explain how this competition works. For the most intense competition of this century, 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 century. Hey, we are Table for Two, a nonprofit that promotes healthy diet through a Japanese inspired food education program called Washakuiku. Today, we're introducing Edamame Chan! This is a nationwide competition that tests your chopstick skills. All you need is one pair of chopsticks, 25 or more edamame, timer, and the edamame champ score sheet, which you can download from our website. If you don't have a printer, you can make one yourself like this. The rule is simple. Place all edamame on one side of the sheet. Set a timer for one minute, then make as many circles as possible using your chopsticks. Five edamames make one circle. Then count the number of edamame you moved. Share your score with a photo or video with hashtag edamamechamp and tag us on Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok. The highest scoring individuals will be invited to a final championship. If you're interested, learn more about healthy Japanese cuisine with our online courses with these videos. And if you would like to support our program through donation, we would always appreciate that. Any amount helps. Now let's have fun with Edamame Champ and make a difference. Okay, so that's about the competition. So you heard the song Mame Mame. So mame means beans in Japanese. Okay. So there are two ways to compete. The video explained the first one. So you just, just you have a one minute and then you use your chopsticks, pick edamame and make a circle. So five edamame beans can make one circle. So you just keep making circle. And the one who moves the most edamame wins. And the second competition is about creativity. You have two minutes and you 
pick and move and make any creative shape you like. Could be a heart mark or like sun or smile. So any shape is okay. So this is not about number, but about creativity. And for, for the first um, competition, to be fair, we have six categories. So learner team is who did not use chopsticks growing up. So the expert team who grew up using chopsticks like every day. And then we have like um, by age group. So we have six categories. So today we will select the winners uh, for the competition one and two, and then invite the winners to the final championship next Saturday. So we will have this champion belt. So hope you can um, go to this final championship. Okay. So I'm gonna stop sharing. Um, any questions about the competitions? So what you need is score sheet or like just paper is okay. And we will start the first competition. It's just um, you place your edamame or it could be nuts, M and M or somebody use frozen like blueberries. <laughs> Anything is okay. So Deborah is gonna say start, but then you will just pick and move the mommy like that. So, okay. Wonder who's gonna join the competition? Who's joining the competition? Yay! All right. Okay. Yes, so, join the competition. And Kathy, is your household joining the competition? Dawn is Hannah. Beautiful, all right. <clears throat> so Deborah, whenever you're ready, you can start and I'm gonna start Mame song. Okay, ready. Sun, ni, ichi, stato. <laughs> Edamame, you move and then you show the category. Uh, oh, I would like you to, to count and then write your score in the chat box with your category. So here's a category. So please write category first and your score in the chat box. And then we will find out who are the winners. So for example, me, adult, no, 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 I'm an expert. <laughs> 27, all right. Adult learner, Ian, 12, good. We're gonna keep that uh, in mind. 25 from Hana, woohoo! Hana, are you kids learner, kids expert? You think you use chopsticks every day or not? Kids expert. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good job. All right. Everybody put the score. Okay. <laughs> All right. 
Okay. So let's do the creative one. So now you have two minutes and you can make um, any creative shape. If you have a score sheet, maybe you can turn around and make it white and then okay, put the edamame here and Debra is gonna. Okay. And if you'd like to turn your camera down so we can see as you're creating, that's cool. If not, we'll take a look afterwards. So if everybody's ready, sun, me, Ichi Stato. <laughs> creation and tell us what you made. Wow. Hanachan, what did you make? A star. A star. Ooh, star. Very nice. Ooh. Oh, Dawn's got three flowers. Is that right? Woohoo. Nice. That's cute. Yes. <laughs> Arthur, I saw you moving things. What did you make? Mm -hmm. We got a squiggle here. I don't know how I'm going to show it, but oh, it's okay. quite got a weird setup going on. But okay. okay, Ian, what did you make? I was trying to make uh, Gojita spikes coming from the water, but my <laughs> hand was cramping, so I had to stop. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't. It just looks like three triangles. I know. M and M iPhone was doing something before. I wonder if you participated in it as well. I don't know who M and M is, but uh, if you created something, just let us know. And now, Kosan, were you moving your chopsticks? What did you make? <laughs> I made a rabbit. <laughs> a rabbit. <laughs> I can okay. share it on Instagram later. <laughs> okay. Yay. Kathy, Kathy, did you participate in the chopstick challenge? The Gevlins? Okay, maybe not. Mm -hmm. All right. So yeah, if you can take a photo and share on your social media with hashtag NMBChamp, that'd be great. And that will help us as well. Okay, thank you so much for participating. And now we can start the cooking part. <laughs> 